My name is Lisa, and I'm a full-time employee who works hard every day to support our household. Our family consists of three members, my husband Itsuki and our adorable daughter Madison. Actually, in our household, Itsuki takes on the role of a stay-at-home dad and looks after the family. This day, like always, after finishing work, I returned home to find. I'm home. Oh, hello, Hazuki. And hello to you too, Nene. Hi there. Mommy, welcome home. Welcome back. Sorry for intruding. Welcome home, Lisa. Hazuki brought over some side dishes to share with us. Oh, I'm so sorry for always receiving so much. Lisa, you always look so great in your suits. I wish I could be as sharp and stylish as you. When I got home, I found Hazuki, a single mother who lives nearby, and her daughter Nene. Recently, Nene joined the local children's club that Madison is a part of, and that's how they became good friends. Since their house is so close, they've been coming over to our place quite often. That evening. Hey, Itsuki? About Hazuki. Don't you think she and Nene have been coming over a bit too much lately? It feels like they're here almost every day. Well, yeah, but Madison seems to enjoy playing with Nene, so she looks happy. And it's been helpful, like today, when they shared some food with us. So, I think it's fine, isn't it? She does seem like a nice person, but honestly, she doesn't come across as very sensible. That's how I feel about Hazuki, and I don't like the idea of her being at our house when I'm not there. Also, I've noticed lately that Madison doesn't seem to be as cheerful as usual, which has been concerning me. One day. Huh? Madison, where did you get that smartphone? That's not your dad's phone, is it? Oh, I bought it for her. Madison really wanted one. But Madison is still in elementary school. We've talked before about how it's too early for her to have a smartphone. But don't you think it's safer if she has one? So, it's fine if she gets one a little early, don't you think? Itsuki bought a smartphone for Madison without consulting me at all. Moreover, he used the money from an account we had set up for Madison's future to buy it. So, I warned him not to do anything like that again. A week later, another 20,000 yen was withdrawn from Madison's account. When I confronted Itsuki about it, Madison asked me for the money, I gave her 10,000 yen but I decided to give her a bit more. I thought, since it was originally Madison's money anyway. What? You gave a child 20,000 yen. Even 2,000 yen is a lot of money for Madison right now. Well, there's no harm in letting her have a bit more. Don't you realize there are people out there who might see a child with a lot of money and get bad ideas? What if something happens? It would be too late then. You're being so dramatic. It's a parent's responsibility to consider these things when giving money or valuables to a child. I keep telling you to discuss things with me beforehand. Please, don't ever do this again. I made Itsuki return the full 20,000 yen he withdrew from Madison's account. After that, I asked Madison what she had bought, but she wouldn't tell me, saying it was a secret. A week later, Madison had a field trip with the local children's club but I had to work on my day off and wouldn't be back until the evening. Or so I thought, but I finished work earlier than expected. I contacted Itsuki and went to pick Madison up. Welcome back. Did you have fun on the field trip? Oh, hello, Lisa. The weather looked iffy, but I'm glad it didn't rain. Wait. Why are you here, Lisa? I finished work earlier than planned, so I came to pick up Madison. Oh, Madison. I didn't see her at all today. Oh, now that you mention it, she wasn't there when we left either. What? She wasn't there when you left. What's going on? Hashizum. Did Madison not come today? Oh, Madison. We were told she was feeling unwell and wouldn't join today's field trip. I think your husband called to let us know. What? Madison is sick? But, she seemed perfectly fine this morning. Lisa, it seems like you didn't know anything about Madison's situation. No. She was preparing for the trip yesterday, and she had a good breakfast this morning. You should probably call your husband right away and check. Maybe she got sick just after you left for work. Yes, you're right. Yeah, kids can get a fever from getting too excited, you know. But if you don't know anything about it, Lisa, it's a bit concerning. I agree. Madison is usually so full of energy. Thank you for your concern. I'll call my husband right away. 
Feeling confused, I immediately called it Suki. But no matter how many times I tried, I kept getting his voicemail and couldn't reach him. Then, I remembered that Madison had a smartphone, so I decided to call her instead. I managed to get through to Madison, and after discovering something important, I hurried home. While I was on my way, I kept calling it Suki repeatedly, and finally, he picked up. Hmm. Hello? Mumble mumble. It's not, mumble mumble. I'm calling you from the office right now. I figured Madison's field trip would be over by now. How did it go with Madison? Oh. She said she had fun. But, I can't really hear you that well. It started raining. There was rain in the forecast, you know. What? Rain? Oh no. I left the laundry outside. Really? It's coming down hard. It's like a typhoon out there. Seriously? I've got to bring it in quickly. Wait, the doorbell is ringing. Hey, wake up. Help me bring in the laundry. It's pouring out there. Huh? Who are you asking to help? Oh, uh, yeah. Madison, I mean Madison. Hang on, it seems like someone's at the door. A delivery maybe? I'll go check the front door. See you, Lisa. With that, Itsuki hung up the phone. Then, as a flustered Itsuki opened the front door. I'm back. Lisa, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the office. I, all the laundry is soaked. Wait, oh no. Hello, Hazuki. What were you doing here in that outfit? Oh, I just got a bit wet from the rain, so I borrowed your shower. But it only just started raining a moment ago. Even if the laundry got wet, there's no way you'd be soaked enough to need a shower. Um, well, I was running around a lot, so I got all sweaty too. That's why I really needed one. Yeah, that's right. She was running around all busy-like. Hey mommy, look. In the room where you and daddy sleep. I took a picture of daddy and Mimi's mom sleeping together. Last time, no matter how much I tried to wake them up, they wouldn't wake up. So I took a picture, haha. <laughs> Madison was like a ninja, so quick. She took the picture really well. What's with that picture? And why are Madison and Nana here? We came back from the library. We were supposed to meet mommy here. Meeting at home. So, you've been cheating on me here at home after dropping Madison and Nene off at the library? Cheating. What are you talking about, Lisa? I was just letting her use the shower. Yeah, Lisa, we wouldn't be doing something like cheating. Then what's this picture Madison took? It's probably some edited image from an app or something. Yeah, the ones in the picture aren't us. That excuse is a bit too much. Don't you think? Wait a minute. I'll go get the recorder I left in the bedroom. If you listen to the recording, you'll know what Daddy and Nene's mom were doing. With that, Madison and Nene went to the bedroom and brought back the recorder. Seeing this, it's Suki and Hazuki. Hey, what is that? Why do the kids have something like that? I bought it with the money Daddy gave me. To gather evidence like this, you need all sorts of things, you know? The money I gave you. Ah. Oh. That 20,000 yen? Yeah, and you also bought me a smartphone, which was super helpful too. This can't be. Why would Madison? You shouldn't underestimate Madison. She can figure things out quickly, even things that adults struggle with. She doesn't have unnecessary thoughts holding her back, so she learns fast just by tinkering around. Is that true? All little kids are like that. Madison is smarter than you think. You've got to be kidding me! Why is this situation so messed up? That's right. Nene, give that nonsense thing to mommy. No way. Nene's on Madison's and Madison's mommy's side. Hazuki, you don't think you can get away with this, do you? Shut up. Who are you to tell me anything? I do have a right. I'm a mother of a child the same age as yours. And besides, you're having an affair with my husband, so this is definitely my business. Lisa, come on. Calm down and listen to what we have to say. Why should I? I'm divorcing you, Itsuki. And not just you, I'm going to demand compensation from Hazuki too. So be prepared. When I mention demanding compensation, Itsuki and Hazuki. What? Demanding compensation? I can't afford that. Exactly. I'm unemployed and have no income, so there's no way I can pay any compensation. Enough of this nonsense. Stop always saying things that suit your own convenience. That's right. 
Stop saying stupid things and go get a job. Ha! Ah, wait, big bro, mom. What are you doing here? I can't believe this. Even my mom is here. Quiet down. What's with the mom stuff? Stop acting so childish. It's okay. What the hell have you been doing? What do you mean? You seem really surprised. But I called Noah and mom. And, after getting permission from Nene, I also contacted Hazuki's mom, Kazuko. When Lisa reached out to me, I thought I must have misheard. But it's so real. It's okay. Madison and her friend are here too, you know? That's why I made sure to send them off to the library to play. I wouldn't do anything like this while the kids are around. Anyone with common sense wouldn't do it even if the kids weren't around. Well, you just casually admitted to cheating, so I'm definitely going to demand compensation. Wait a minute, please. Seriously, what the hell are you doing while Lisa's working hard outside? It's Suki. You're going to get divorced by Lisa. Stop depending on others and start looking for a job to pay the compensation. Oh, and don't forget, you'll also need to pay for Madison's child support. It's Suki's mother, his brother Noah, and Hazuki's mother, Kazuko. Itsuki and Hazuki had no idea I had called their families too. I never agreed to a divorce, you know. Lisa's just saying she wants one on her own. We're only at the stage where Lisa is talking about divorce, that's all. Yes, I said I want a divorce, but as for any discussions to stop the divorce. That's absolutely not going to happen, okay? Oh, come on, Lisa. Madison is here too, you know. Being a single mother is quite tough, so maybe you shouldn't get a divorce? Thanks for your concern, but thankfully, I have a job and I'm financially independent. I've been supporting this family, but now there will be one less person to support. Do you know what that means? It means we can save all the living expenses for one person. Madison, you're so smart, that's exactly right. Oh my, Madison is so clever. Just like Madison said, I don't need it Suki anymore. That's why I'm getting a divorce. But, if Madison doesn't have a father, Kazuki, you... You've done something that would break up someone else's family. Don't say another word. I thought I raised you not to cause trouble for others. Your father is furious. You're not coming back to our house, understand? Wait, but... Then who am I supposed to rely on? Raising a child costs money and going forward. Mom, I'll live with Grandma and Grandpa, so don't worry about me. What? Nay, nay. That's the answer, Hazuki. Your father and I will never forgive you for hurting Nay. nay. I don't need daddy anymore either. I'm just going to declutter him. Itsuki was told directly by Madison and Hazuki by Nene that they were not needed. Madison, are you sure you want to say that? You won't be able to eat daddy's delicious home-cooked meals anymore. Money's cooking is better, so I don't need you. Nene, if you live with grandma and grandpa, you'll have to wake up early and your meals will probably be all fish and vegetables, you know. I'm good at waking up early. And I love fish and vegetables. Nene doesn't have any dislikes when it comes to food. Kazuki, when you said you would raise Nene on your own, I was worried but also admired you. But now, in this situation, we'll take care of Nene, so don't worry. Wait, hold on a second. Lisa, wait, are you really serious about divorcing me? Of course I'm serious. Who talks about something like this as a joke? But still, if we get divorced, there won't be anyone to take care of the house. I can handle it just fine. I'll help out too. Mom, can you really handle raising a child at your age? Nene is such a sweet child. We'll raise her well until she grows up. So that's how it is, Itsuki. I'm cutting ties with you. And you, Hazuki. I'm disowning you do. From now on, you're on your own. Having been told they would be divorced and disowned by their families, the two. Lisa. Madison, please wait. I don't want a divorce. I can't afford any compensation. I don't have that kind of money. We are getting divorced, and you will pay the compensation. You know, we have the evidence that Madison and Nene collected, right? But that's... It's not really evidence. Please don't listen to it. I don't want to listen to a recording from the scene of your affair either. Are you stupid? Just thinking about it makes me feel sick. Big bro, don't say that. Try to convince Lisa to stop the divorce. Lisa, I hope the divorce goes well. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. No, that's not what I meant. I want you to convince her to not go through with the divorce. Staying married to you would just be unfair to Lisa. I'm sorry, Lisa. 
I promise I'll never do this again. It's too late for that. Why didn't you realize this before Nene decided to abandon you? If you're truly sorry, start by paying Lisa the compensation and then come and see me. Please, Lisa, what am I supposed to do if you leave me? Lisa, please spare me from the compensation. I really don't have a single yen. I despise people who think nothing of sacrificing their children for their own gain. You better reflect deeply on just how serious what you've done is. Bye-bye, mister. And bye-bye to you too, ma'am. I divorced Itsuki, and Hazuki was disowned by her parents. Nene has always been close to her grandmother and loves her grandfather as well. Because of this, Nene ended up living with her grandparents instead of Hazuki. She seems very happy to be with her grandparents all the time and is reportedly living a joyful life every day. Meanwhile, Itsuki, who was kicked out of the house, and Hazuki, who was evicted from her apartment for not paying rent. Without a fixed address, they couldn't secure jobs or find a place to live. Thus, the two of them lost their once modest but happy lives and now live in utter misery with nothing to their names. As for us. Nene seemed really cheerful. Really? Madison, Nene is doing well. Really? I want to play with Nene again. I wonder if we can meet up during summer break. Kazuko said they have plenty of bedding, so you're welcome to stay over any time. Wow, I want to go. I'll have a sleepover with Nene. I exchanged contact information with Hazuki's mother, Kazuko, and we kept in touch regularly. Madison and Nene remained close friends, even though they were living apart. Noah continued to dote on Madison and would check in on us even after the divorce. Although I became a single mother, I didn't feel any significant changes. Madison and Nene worked together to drive Itsuki and Hazuki away. Thanks to them, I was able to start living my current happy life before things got any worse. I'm grateful for Madison's determination to protect me, and I want to raise her to be a happy child. With that promise to myself, I will continue to do everything I can to protect Madison's bright, cheerful smile. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.